when you're trying to decide what you're gonna do for a combo, the the first thing you gotta decide is number one, who do I want to play as? And then number two, who do I want to have the combo on? Now these are things that you can change if it doesn't pan out, but like, it's good to have these ideas in your head at the very beginning. I would say the easiest character to do combos with is Captain Falcon, and the easiest combo to, uh, character to do combos against is Falcon, also. So a pretty easy starting place is just Falcon on Falcon. Now the next thing you gotta decide is what stage you wanna do. And basically, this is totally up to you, because every stage has cool stuff about it, just about. Um, and like original stuff that you can come up with on it. It's just like how dedicated you want to be. I'd say probably Saffron has the least potential as like... I mean, not the least potential, but like, or for someone who doesn't really know what they're doing starting out, Saffron would probably be the hardest, because there's so much elevation changes, there's so many like, s like weird stretches of like, unique stuff, it's just difficult to get something going on Saffron. Any stage would work, you just have to decide which stage you want to do it on. But say you want to do it on Mushroom Kingdom, for example. Mushroom Kingdom is a super popular stage right now for doing combos. So once you have your characters, you want to, like, say, okay, how do I want to start this combo? And basically starting the combo is, like, what is possible from the current position? And basically, like, Falcon... He has, like, really strong setups at, like, all times. So you can do so many things from the starting position. Prince did something like this, which totally is fine. And I would say once you find a cool setup, run with it and see how far you can take it. The idea is basically just, like, hit him with stuff until you see something that's cool and you're like, oh, okay, that's sick. Let's see where we can take this setup. And this is where it's helpful to record yourself doing everything. If you do something cool and you can't remember exactly what it was, run back the footage and see what you did. Because this happens all the time. So yeah, like, find find a cool setup that works, and once you've found something that you think is pretty cool, just roll with it and see where it goes. Because, like, there's, at any given point in a combo, there's, like, well, not any given point, as you get towards the end of a combo, you generally only have a couple of options, at most. Um just because of like how dedicated you are once they're high percent. When they're low percent, and this is this is also pro tips for combos, you want to do stuff that keeps them close to you for the most part. The only time you want to do something that hits them far away is if you hit them against something that knocks them back to you. For example, on ZBs, you can hit them against the acid and have them come back to you. On this stage, you can have them bounce against this wall and come back to you, or you can have them hit a piranha plant and come back to you. There's a million different ways that you can have them come back to you, and come back to you, come back to you type combos are also super cool. So it's like, it's always something to consider. But if, if you're not trying to get a bounce back combo, you want to just do something that will keep them close to you, like as close as possible. The whole time you're, you're working on your combo, keep in mind options that you would not normally think about. What makes a combo good is that the viewer is surprised by it. If the viewer's like, oh, I never would have thought to do that, makes it, like, automatically a way better combo. Alright, so you have your stage, you have your character, and presumably, now you have your starting option. So whatever your setup is, you want to explore possibilities from there. And you want to say, like, like keep an open mind. Like, do your starting thing, and then, and then look at different attacks that can work. Ideally, attacks that keep the opponent close to you. Hmm... Like, look at this. But now, the other thing you have to consider is, after my next move, what will my next option be? And so you always have to be thinking about that. Like, up there, I up-aired him up there, and he was too high to actually do anything with. And so, like, before you commit to a move, you have to think, all right, what is going to be possible after this move? All right, so, like, you do your follow-ups, and, and you maybe find you find a good, a good chain of, of hits that looks really cool the whole way through. So like you're past the beginning phase, you're into the middle, the middle of the combo where you have a, a cool follow-up to go for. Once you're at the middle part, you have to you have to start thinking how am I going to bring this combo to a cool ending? And uh, the cool ending, if you're playing Falcon, uh, chances are it's going to be a Falcon punch. But like, what you want, the, the last thing you want to do is end on something generic, like an up B. What you want to do is end on something neat, 
ideally set up in a neat way. For example, Prince did his taunt cancel falcon punch off of the off of the piranha plant at the end of his combo. And that was a sick ending. The worst thing you can do is have a combo that has a sick setup and a horrible ending. Because that is like, it is the ultimate cuck feeling when you get to that. This, this will like influence how you take the combo to the ending. Like what's possible after your, your theoretical last hit. This is, I say, segueing from the beginning of the combo into the middle of the combo. I have a pretty cool start. Now I need to figure out where I can take it. And right now my options are still gigantic. I still have like 8 billion things I can do. By the way, I advise, when you're doing a combo and you do something wrong, don't always reset. Especially if it's that you got a knockback that you weren't planning on. Because it's always nice to see, well, maybe I'll get inspired by something that I see as I'm just messing around. I think messing around leads to more cool combos than just about anything. You want, you want the later parts of the combo to have more potential. You want to make sure the combo moves in a direction that is uh, conducive to a combo being continued. Like, for example, most of Mushroom Kingdom exists on the left side of the stage. All the stuff is over there. So, like, I kind of want to finesse this combo into going to the left. Because I know I'll have more follow-up potentials over there. Ooh, into the plan! Let's go, dude! Let's do something with that! Mmm! Feeling good about this! Oh, I killed him! <laughs> with a runoff dare. That was a true combo, at least. Oh, that's so sick! Oh, tell me there's a way to follow this up. Oh, he goes straight- he bounces straight to the platform! Tell me there's a way to do this, dude. You know how many reverse forward airs and back airs I've practiced in my life? This is why you do them, boys. This is why you play friendlies to style and not to win. Because it makes you good at training mode. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. But the good ones are really hard. Oh, that was a true combo. And if I had, um... I could definitely Falcon Punch that. I'm almost positive. I could definitely- I'm almost positive. <laughs> Like that. That's an end to the combo. That's not a bad combo. I'm okay with it. And then maybe, um, between today and uh, my next stream, which will be probably on next Monday if I stick to my schedule, I can explore with this a little bit more and see if I can get another follow-up. Hey guys, hopefully this video helped you out. As far as this combo goes, I think it's a pretty solid mid-tier combo that's pretty cool and easy enough to execute in two minutes, which is really great for the early rounds of the combo contest. I'm going to try to start making longer, more intricate combos, so if you'd like to see more of this type of content, please consider subscribing to me on YouTube, or if you want to watch live, follow me on Twitch. I stream Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and plan to stream myself creating more of these types of combos in the future. Thanks, guys. Never give up. Always believe in yourself.